and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This video will look at working with constraints in Project 2010. Now constraint is used to restrict the start and finish date of a task, or start or finish date of a task. And it's recommended to only use a constraint when it's something that's out of your control. Common examples will be uh, the delivery of some supplies for your task or the availability of a venue generally it's something that you can't control it's an external factor but it will determine the start or the finish date of your task now one way that I'm going to put a constraint in immediately here and I'm going to use this proofread web pages task as an example of that is I'm going to change the date of this task now this is bad news really with auto scheduled tasks now we know that in project 2010 you have two task modes you've got manually scheduled tasks where you can enter the fixed dates and you've got auto scheduled where project calculates the dates for you so if I was to change the start date of this task project will create a constraint so let's have a look at that to begin with if I change this date from well I'm looking at here the 28th of January and I'll change it to the 30th as soon as I do that project's going to have a little moan and say look you've got a link in here you've got dependencies I'm scheduling this why have you put a date in it's asking me if I want to remove the link and remove that task so I'm going to move the task but keep the link and click OK so what project will do is it will create this constraint I can see the constraint indicator in the indicators column start no earlier than constraint possibly the most common constraint that gets used but really what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you shouldn't touch the start or finish dates of an auto scheduled task and it's a really common thing to do for people just getting started with projects very common to do that and you'll see these indicators these calendar icons just filling up this indicators column for where people have done that not not being aware of what they're doing uh, as mentioned earlier there are manually scheduled tasks now which you can use and you can enter them dates please check out one of our other videos for that kind of information uh, but for now we have this constraint um, saying that this task cannot begin before that date so you know, if the task before it the predecessor was to take any longer such as 13 days then we'll see that that task will move on I saw the critical path change a bit there and uh, you know that task will begin later however if this task was to happen a little bit quicker and I'll put it as five days then you notice that task will not move before that date uh, that I've put in so it's constrained uh, and this is why that constraints are normally encouraged only if it's an external factor something out of your control because they will affect your scheduling they are affecting the critical path here as well for good reason it, it needs to be that way uh, maybe an example that I'm using but sometimes they say you know, look take into consideration there may be a better alternative you may want to use a deadline you might want to just add some notes to your task something that won't affect scheduling but will bring to your attention that you know you should be finished by that date or you should start no later than this date or something like that um, but in this case that's what we've got with a constraint let's look at removing that constraint if I don't want it anymore or maybe creating uh, another type of constraint rather than changing the date to do it I'm going to double click on proofread web pages to open up the task information dialog box I'm going to go to the advanced tab and we've got this constraint type list halfway down which I can change to as soon as possible which would remove that constraint so the as soon as possible constraint is applied to every single task of this project at the moment and that is because the project is running from the project start date so they all run as soon as possible uh, which is why that is not really considered a true constraint it's applied to all of them but you see there are six others there uh, from finish no earlier than all the way down to start no later than uh, must finish or must start on our inflexible constraints got four semi flexible ones but they're all different types of constraints uh, where you can you know, constrain of a start or finish date uh, and they're there for you to use if that's the case just to 
consider for a little while whether it is the right thing to do, whether it's the best thing to do for your project. So I could have done this uh, approach to create that constraint from earlier, the start no earlier then, as opposed to using the start date, and this is probably the recommended way. For now I'm going to choose as soon as possible, click on OK, and that constraint is removed, because maybe now I've realised that I didn't really, really want it in there. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. That is used for constraints in Project 2010. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargart.com.